Today's video is about an easier way to set up FSR4 on Linux. First, you're going to need this little guy right here, which you can actually find in the Cache OS Discord. It will be pinned in the top post in the Cache OS repository channel, uh, but I'll also throw it up on Mediafire and stick it in the description below. Another thing you're going to need is Cache OS um, Proton which you can actually find it in Proton Plus, which is right here. So it's very easy to grab, and you're going to need version 10. Okay, you already have Cache OS installed. You're already good to go. You don't need to download it. It will be installed automatically. Another one that's compatible with FSR4 is EM10. Okay, uh, it seems to be possibly a lot farther along but uh i'm gonna install it just because i want to show you that you just click the button and it installs automatically just like that now some games if you're using it in lutris you're trying to get it to work there's going to be some issues same with heroic so we're going to stick with steam today first we're going to extract this this is important okay so uh let's open up steam real quick if it lets me this is a work in progress, quick shell rewrite of AGS, I guess, in a way for N4 that I'm trying out. Damn it. There we go. I got it to open. Okay. We just had a spam click it. And there we go. So let's concentrate on Monster Hunter Wilds. Uh, if we go to store page, because we're going to need to know the number, the Steam ID of this which is two two four six three four zero so when we go here we're going to go to manage browse local files go back to steam apps compact uh, compact data and now we're going to need to find that number so again two two four six three four zero two two four six three four zero go to prefix try c you're going to go to windows you're going to go to system 32 and what you're going to do is you're going to drag and drop this in there so as you can see i've already placed it and then i got this other one here that's what allows fsr4 to be detected which is great makes things a little easier why is there a delusional little elf there that's weird next we're going to go back into steam right click the game go to properties and we're going to add these two variables Proton underscore enable underscore Wayland equals one, then Proton underscore enable underscore HDR equals one, all caps. And then of course, you're gonna add the command at the end to make it work. Make sure in compatibility that Proton Cache is selected or Proton EM, okay? I don't wanna select any other Proton because if we do, I'll have to recompile shaders, I swear to God. If I have to recompile shaders, I'm going to be mad because it was working before. Are we good? You're not going to make me do it. Oh, 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 it, it just, it just enabled HDR automatically. Uh, we missed a command by the way, just wanted to let you know that. And I just realized it as I went in here because I forgot what I had this set up for. Because if we go to here and we clicked FSR, you can see it's just 3.1.3. So we're going to quit. Auto HDR, by the way, is something that's also in the Cache OS, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Proton. So we're going to add this, all caps, FSR4 underscore upgrade equals one okay hit play and this will automatically upgrade fsr4 or fsr3.1 to fsr4 and if the game supports fsr4 you'll see it mentioned in the game itself it might take a minute to initiate unless i got the yeah i uh i most likely have something wrong okay let's take this 
Let's cut that. Okay, let's put that first. And hit play. That hopefully will make it happen. Because again, order matters. I saw it work. It was working. Oh, it was working. God damn it. I just had to wait another second until the upgrade was complete. I'm impatient sometimes. Because, look, that popped up, which means the game works. That was my bad. Sorry. Once again, we enabled HDR. That's why the colors are all washed out for you guys on the recording. And if we go into options, we go into here, you'll notice it says FSR 4. How cool is that? Which means everything in game is going to look super washed out because it's an HDR, but also not for me. There's a current Mesa bug going on as well. As you can see, the plants, the alpha transparency, the cutouts are not working properly. Yeah, I have that bug now too. It's also in the normal Mesa. I have reported the issue, but I've not received an email back about it. But uh, yeah, everything looks really clean and sharp, which is nice. Uh, I'm not able to enable the Steam overlay, so you might want to think about that before anything. Okay. Let me get off this guy. There we go. But I'm going to show you the bug real quick. So you can see the black outline around the leaves. Yeah, it's not doing too well. There's a better example over here. See the trees? There's a black outline. That part is supposed to be cut out in alpha, but it's not. For some reason, other alpha transparency effects are fine. Others are not. And it's really weird. So, there are other examples of this, of course, and I'll give you one more, which is Silent Hill 2, okay? Because it's very, very important that we do that. And I didn't mean to enable HDR at all. So, once again, we're going to do FSR 4 underscore upgrade equals one then we're gonna do command like that uh, this time I'm gonna be choosing EM for this and when we hit play hopefully hopefully being very hopeful here about this that it ends up showing up okay because again it's very, very tricky. Now, this happens on Hyperlin sometimes. Just give it a second. Once it clicks in, it goes away. Like that. See? Problem solved. Compile your shaders. Trust me, nothing ever goes right when you're recording a video. and Most people will edit out their mistakes. The issue is, I will fix my mistakes. So that if you run into the same issue, you can also fix them. Because having editing that's too clean is obnoxious and lying half the time. I hate it. Bugs me. Jump cuts. God, I hate jump cuts. Jump cuts are the worst. The people that do jump cuts are dicks. Okay, rant over. I think I broke the game. Nope, I didn't. So we go to settings. We go to display HUD. And if we go down to... Um, here, you'll notice it says 3.1 still. It's not true. Sometimes it does not get replaced with 4, but it still does replace 3.1. You'll be able to see it visually, of course. So, look over at the fan. It still shimmers, but you can see it clear as a bell. Okay? Crystal friggin' clear. And also that, but the particles are fully showing and they're clean. The lighting on that, you know, uh, thing that you pull over to close the way off is clean. 
and his hair barely has any artifacts of shimmering. That's how you can tell you're using FSR4, is when the lines are super clean. Like, it's pretty darn clear. As well as this, you can see the stairs through here. With FSR 3.1, it would be a shimmering mess, but it's very, very stable image. Also, have I ever told you how much, like right there, look at that, it doesn't know how to handle the flashlight? Yeah. That is annoying, and I hope they fix that in the next iteration. I hate chroma, chromatic abbreviation, or whatever the hell you want to call it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, ew. Let's get rid of TAA, okay? And uh, separate transparency, global motion blur is off, image sharpening is up to high. Good. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever been in that menu before. Now that TAA is off, it is so sharp. Oh, TAA is evil. I hate it. I really do. Now the edges are even cleaner. Everything looks really well detailed. So there is two examples, again, of how to get FSR4 working without OptiScale, okay, on Linux. Or our DNA 4, of course. Here's the other kicker. You can get more performance out of this with another command. I just don't have the command, uh, but it is in the pinned post in the Cache OS repository channel in Discord. There's another thing. This is very, very important. If it has FSR 3, it will not replace. You'll have to use OptiScaler. Same with FSR 2. You'll have to use OptiScaler, and I have a video showcasing that. Please go watch that. And it also helps you with the setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Comment if it works or not. I can't really help you if it doesn't, but it's good to know if the majority gets it to work or not. Remember, our DNA 4. That's the 9070 XT or the 9060 XT when that comes out, or the 9070, or the 9060, non-XT variants, of course. Uh, bye. Oh, uh, if you guys want to support me, there's Ko-Fi in the description below, as well as YouTube membership. Both are optional, but subscribing helps a ton as well.